YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy, Matt, back with another sneaker review for Metro Cars and Kicks. And today, as always, man, oh, excuse me. we got another beautiful box up in the building. Before we jump into that review, man, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And at the end of the video, man, let me know if you would cop these or drop these. Let's jump into it, bro. We have a women's Air Jordan 4 retro size 11 in women's size 9.5 in men's. Oh, I just love that flight box. Ain't that pretty? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's see what we're working with. Boom. That's right, man. We got those Jordan 4 frozen moments. Um, Overall, I think this is a fire shoe, man. Fire shoe. I love all the different hints of gray. We got our white on the bottom. Um, we got three different kinds of gray suede material. Um, got leather in the front of the toolbox right here. You got the suede. It's a little rough kind of a suede, but it's a really cool suede color. Um, got some more leather up here. Actually, it feels like Nubuck. But then you got these metallic pieces. Now, I'm not a fan of the metallic piece. It looks cheap to me. Um, it's definitely like a plastic spray painted with some kind of gloss metallic silver not a fan of that part of the shoe you got your flight jump man on the tongue that's normal on your fours white laces i would definitely swap those out for a different color this little nike tag here you got your jump man on the back which is pretty fire more gray on the bottom a little white fire shoe for a gray sneaker i think that's a fire shoe I like it. Um, again, only thing I would change is those metallic tabs. Not a fan of that, but I like it as a great sneaker. Resale right now on these. We sell a pretty decent. I mean, we're looking at lunch money. Uh, depending on the size, these are going over retail right now. I've seen most sizes around that 275, 300 range. I do think this shoe will go up in time because it is a limited women's exclusive. I did not see a lot of pairs out here in a while for these. Even stock numbers on these weren't that high. So I do see this with a lot of long-term earning potential. And it also has potential right now in terms of resale. So if you're in an area where you can get your hands on these and pay retail for them, I would say grab them. As you know, the Jordan 4 is the premier silhouette right now. So I would definitely invest in these. Um, grab them if you can. I don't think they made grade school in these. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Just strictly women's exclusive. So these will go up uh, with more time. And again, if you can get them right now, I would sell right now. And if you got the capital to do it, hold long term also. But y'all let me know what you think about these, man. Would you cop these or drop these? Until next time, it's your boy, Matt. And I'm out. Peace.